Tonight, a DeKalb County mother and daughter are scared for their lives after they say a man ransacked their home and several others in the area. Atlanta News First anchor Tori Cooper is live from the DeKalb County Police Department tonight. Tori, police have not made an arrest, have they? They haven't, Savannah, and that's really what makes this even more unsettling for these residents who feel their homes are being terrorized by this man. I am afraid to go outside the door. This new surveillance video shows why Queen Reese and her daughter have been living in fear for the last three weeks. He went around to the back of the house, kicked my door down, and came into my home. Reese says she had just left her house, but her daughter was still inside when the man seen in this surveillance video made his way inside. Her daughter locked herself in her room. He ramsacked the house, went in and just threw stuff out the, out the drawers and dressers and everything, stole jewelry. Reese says the man took off and no one was harmed, but other neighbors along Rainbow Drive in South DeKalb also sent Atlanta News First this other surveillance video detailing what they say is the same man breaking into other homes in the same area. The person was walking up the people's back patio with a brick in his hand and just went up to the thing, kind of looked around and just busted the window and happened there was a, a, a man at the home and they had words and he ran back down the steps. On a third occasion, my neighbor had seen the same guy walking down the street. He had broken this lady's house and stole her rifle or shotgun. A neighbor also captured these pictures of an intruder seen holding a gun in his hands. She was like, Look at this picture. It looks like him to me. And so I pulled it up and yeah, it looks like the same guy. DeKalb police would not confirm that they are looking for the man seen in these videos, but they did say they are investigating the home invasion situation. Now Reese tells us that she reported this to police on September 7th. And as of tonight, DeKalb County police tell us they have still not made an arrest in this case. If you have information, make sure that you contact investigators as soon as possible. We're live outside the DeKalb County Police Department. I'm Tori Cooper, Atlanta News First. Scary stuff there, Tori. Thank you.